The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I want to show you how to use the Revision Cloud tool. Uh, we also call this Rev Cloud and uh, where you can find this command is on the draw toolbar. It looks like a cloud over here. Uh, you can also find it on the draw panel of the ribbon but you'll need to pick on the down arrow and you can pick on the cloud over here. At that point it puts you into the cloud uh, command and you're, you're prompted to specify a start point. Now what a rev cloud is, it's a way for let's say your boss to come into a drawing like this floor plan and by picking a point and then moving uh, his or her cursor around they can draw a revision cloud around a feature or around a dimension or something like that that they want to point out to you because maybe they want to change this so they might do that and then they may add some text or something to point out to you that that they want to make that change now really a revision cloud is, is a type of polyline and uh, you don't have a lot of options with this command but it, if you pick on the command and you look down here you can see that you have a couple of things you can do one is to pick on style and you have the option of picking calligraphy instead of normal now what I drew earlier is called normal this is what calligraphy looks like here and uh, so it's really going to be something more probably your boss will be using or maybe you're just working with a colleague and you want to point out something or you have a question for them and you're emailing them a drawing or printing this out as a PDF and emailing it to them and you want to attract uh, attention to something now I drew this on the what's called the plumbing layer and uh, so if I were to pick on my rev cloud here and move it to a layer, let's say the center layer for example, then the color would change and the line type for the rev cloud would change uh, to match whatever is on the layer that it's been assigned to.